my father was mostly teaching us about what he did. You know, he loved to have us come to the sets and come to the workshop and listen in on his meetings or just hang around right next to him all day long. You know, he he loved his work. He loved to be with us. And sometimes he, the more he could combine those two things, the better. And as a result, m my brothers and sisters and I were all kind of trained in the business. Um, he wanted us to learn specifically how to to make these kind of programs, but he also just enjoyed having us around and we learned a lot about photography, filmmaking, painting, drawing, you know, but both my parents were artists. My mother was also an art teacher, so we were doing art projects nonstop at our home. Every every possible thing. He was such an innovator and he was so excited about the new thing all the time. So he was actually very interested in any kind of new technology. He was the first time you could buy a cassette recorder. He had to have it and everything had to be listened to on cassette or the first time that you could, you know, videotape off the air. He had to have that ability immediately. So he was a real techie kind of guy. But similarly with his own work, he always wanted to bring each project to the next technical level. And nowadays, a lot of those techniques are incredibly old fashioned, but in the day they were cutting edge. So when he attached um, radio controls to the puppets and they could move their eyes or move their head you know, from a distance, it allowed him to float the Emmett Otter characters on a river, on a boat. And that was super high tech for the day. And each along the way, he was just always so attracted to innovation.